Welcome. So you're thinking about moving to Bluffdale, Utah, and you want to know what some of the pros are and some of the cons are of actually living in Bluffdale, Utah? Well, that's what I'm going to give you today, and I'm getting after it right now. Welcome back, everybody. I'm Greg Spackman. I am with the Living in Salt Lake City channel. So if you want to learn everything about what it's like to live here, eat here, sleep here, play here, then click the little subscribe button and the bell to be notified every time I do new videos. I've been getting a ton of people that are just like you that are reaching out to me about moving here to Bluffdale and they want to know more about it. So please give me a call, shoot me a text, send me an email. So heck, send the Pony Express. I've got your back if you're moving here to Bluffdale, Utah. So pro number one is the location. The location of Bluffdale is amazing. It's south of Salt Lake City. It is going to butt up right against this new huge development that they're building in Draper called The Point. And that's going to be built where the prison used to be. And the prison was already moved, so that's out of the way. But as far as location goes, Salt Lake City is 25 minutes to the north. The airport's the same distance. Provo, Utah is about 30 minutes to the south. Park City is 45 minutes away. Um, Las Vegas, five and a half hours. If you're a skier or snowboarder, Brighton and Solitude are 42 minutes, while Alta and Snowboard are 36 minutes. So if you want to ski there, it's much closer. I've skied at all four of those resorts in the past, and all four are awesome, as well as Park City. I would say Solitude and Brighton are more my favorites than the other ones, but that's going to be on you. Hey, comment below if what your favorite ski resort is here in Utah. If you want to go out on the water, take your boat, paddleboard, kayak, canoe, that sort of thing, or just swim in really clear, nice water, then Deer Creek Reservoir is 43 minutes away. We go there a few times a year. I absolutely love going there. The last time we went, it's 20 bucks to pay for parking. And then we took our little canopy down by the water and hung out all day. And the kids had a blast and it was awesome uh, there. You got to get there early so you can get a good spot, though. If you try and show up at 11, 12, 1 o'clock, then a lot of the good spots are gone or uh, parking will be more of a challenge there. Five mile pass is 32 minutes away. So if you want to go out four by fouring, you want to take your motorcycles out in the dirt. You want to take side-by-sides. You want to take whatever you want to do out in the dirt. That's Five Mile Pass, and that's 32 minutes away. And the last thing for distance that's something really cool is that you're 20 minutes to American Fort Canyon. And American Fort Canyon is a cool place to go for hiking. And they also have a reservoir up there that we go to called Temple Fork. And then there's another 4x4 trail up there and campsites and picnic stuff. American Fork Canyon is awesome, and that's 20 minutes away. So, heck, that's one awesome thing about Bluffdale. Pro number two, and this is according to niche.com, since I can't steer in any way but the crime data, and I'll pull that up here in just a second, but it scores a B- minus on niche.com. And so here are their stats uh, for everything to do with Bluffdale. Here's their stats. Bluffdale gets an overall rating of a B, B for public schools, B minus for crime and safety, C plus for housing, B minus for nightlife, B plus good for families, B minus for diversity, B plus for jobs, B plus for weather, C minus cost of living, and that's just due to the home prices in Bluffdale, A for health and fitness, which there's a ton of hiking and stuff that you can do in Bluffdale, A for outdoor activities as well. You, there's this hang gliding place that's right across in Dra Draper that you can go to. So if you want to hang glide or parasail, that's super cool that you can go do. B plus for commute because the commute isn't bad at all. Like in their rankings here, they have their 35th at a 73 for best public schools, 36 for young professionals, and 45th for the best place to raise a family in Utah. So they're right in the middle as far as that goes. Uh, here's the crime and safety stats, B- minus for crime and safety. Uh, as you can see here, they are below the average on all four of these, well below the average on some of these. In fact, everything is well below the national average as far as crime and safety goes, according to niche.com. And those are the ratings that you need to know about Bluffdale. And as you can see, according to niche.com and everything that I've heard, Bluffdale is really, really goodly rated. Pro number four is the ability for you to still get a decent plot of land with your home if that's what you want. 
So that availability in Bluffdale is not available in a lot of other cities where you can't get an acre or two or three. You can get that in Bluffdale still. The homes are going to be... What I've had clients do is buy a home, tear it down, and then build their nice home on the plot of land, and then they can have their horses and other stuff they want to have. Pro number five is that they're adding this place called Fat Cats, and I'll show you here in a minute on the map where it is, but Fat Cats is going to have eight luxury theaters. They won't be like huge, huge theaters, but they'll be big enough for you to watch movies in. They're going to have 20 lanes of bowling, a nine-hole mini golf, a 4,800-square-foot arcade, and they're going to have a restaurant and grill and then some other little shops and stuff in that parking lot where it's going to be. And then they also have this really cool place that's super popular now, which you probably heard of Pickleball, but they have this place called Smash Park that's coming. And that place is going to be awesome as well. So let me show you on the map where that's going to be in Bluffdale. So here's the map of Bluffdale. You can see it's kind of like a triangle based. So Fat Cats is going in right here. As you can see, it's still under construction. It's supposed to be done soon, so hopefully it's done this summer, but we'll see if that happens. But these, all these shops, everything that's going to go in here is going to be pretty awesome once that's all done. And it'll give Bluffdale some place actually to go because Bluffdale doesn't have a ton of shopping in that. You're going to be going to Riverton or South Jordan or over to Sandy or Draper for most of your shopping needs. Pro number six is part of the weather, and that's going to be part of con number one as well. But I just want to touch on the weather, uh, where Blufftail is sits on the map and in relation to the mountains. It doesn't get as much snow as some of the other towns will get. It does get snow, so you get to enjoy that, but you just don't get as much snow. It doesn't seem to get as hot where it's at compared to some of the other cities because it's closer to the mountains and the con number one, which I'll touch on that plays a factor in the temperature as well and everything else. So that's pro number six kind of with the weather itself. And so that kind of ends our pros and let's get going on what some of the cons are and probably why you're watching the video so that you can learn some of that stuff. But if you have a second, click the little like button. I really appreciate that. Okay. So con number one was the weather and the big Thing about the weather not necessarily due to heat and everything else that has uh, that you have to deal with is the wind and Bluffdale just seems like it's always windy it always has an 8 to 15 mile an hour wind that goes through it so it's going to be windy compared to some of the other towns now there is wind in, in them as well because of where we and so you're going to just have to know that it's a little bit more windy in Bluffdale than you would in some of the other cities. So hopefully you're OK with that. It does make it nice because the breeze blows away a lot of the stuff in the air. It makes it a little cooler, especially once the sun goes down. It's nice to sit outside with that breeze going. However, when it's too windy, then that becomes a problem. But that's con number one to do with the weather and the wind. Con number two is really short and it's just that there's no access to any track system or front runner train or any public transportation at all in Bluffdale. They don't have buses. They don't have anything as far as that goes. You're using Uber, Lyft, or some other rideshare company or the Heel Toe Express. So, or whatever you're planning to do, know that public transportation sucks in Bluffdale and hopefully they'll get some in the near future, I know that the point when they build that, that'll have public transportation and maybe that'll bring the tracks into Bluffdale at that point, but we'll see what happens. Con number four is an interesting one to me and that's the nightlife is pretty laughing out loud uh, bad in Bluffdale. Really, the only thing Bluffdale has as far as nightlife that you could say is a place called Bout Time Pub and Grill and they're open till 1 a.m. every night. Uh, I've been to the one in Harriman, got a burger and beer. That was awesome. So the food there is, is good. Uh, they do have a bingo night there, which uh, I called to ask what some of the stuff is about them and verify some of this data so I didn't share with you wrong information. Uh, they are going to have live music at some point here in the future. They're about to open their patio, which probably by the time this video, you watch this video, the patio will be open out front. So that's super cool. And one last thing to touch on is you have to be 21 to go here. So that may be a pro or a con for you. Like for my son, he really likes that because then he doesn't have to deal with any kids. 
But if you wanted to bring your kids because you wanted to go out somewhere and you wanted to grab a beer and you wanted to eat, then you can't really do that at this place. You're going to have to do it somewhere else. And that's nightlife. Everything else for nightlife, you're going to be going to other cities, Sandy, Draper, Salt Lake City, mostly to Salt Lake City for most of the nightlife or bars and clubs and that sort of thing are up in Salt Lake City that you're going to want to go to. But heck, you're going to figure that out. Con number five is the traffic and getting around Bluffdale. And so there really isn't a real highway. And I'll show you that on the map here in just a second. There's no freeway for Bluffdale. You can get to the east side of Bluffdale really easily from I-15. But the west side, you're getting off at Redwood most likely and dealing with that mess kind of to get around. And uh, that sort of hit and miss depending upon the traffic. The tracks, the front runner or the bus is not possible in Bluffdale. So traffic, sometimes when I've driven through Bluffdale, it's taken longer than it definitely should, and there's parts of it that back up. They did install this new light system under this part where the train goes over, so that's nice that they installed that and made it a little easier to go through there, but traffic can be tough, and then the, the public transportation part of that is not great either. All right, so I told you I'd pull up the map so you could see so when you, this is Bluffdale here, and when you're getting off, this is Redwood here. The main drag through Bluffdale is Redwood. Otherwise, you're taking I-15 over here to the side and getting off, and then you're going right here through about time and down into this way. So it just depends. This is where more of the new construction is built for Bluffdale right in here, this area. And then... Um, so anyhow, that's how you're going to go there. When we used to come from Riverton over this way, we go underneath the freeway here and then take this little side street here and we would jump on the freeway right, right here at 2700 West. We get on the freeway and they're building all new stuff right in here. There were When we first moved here, there were a couple old homes that looked like they needed to be torn down and now they're gone and they're getting ready just to develop all this area. The Arctic Silver is right there. So... Bluffdale is definitely growing, and you can see here on the map it has available land that they can still build on, which is super cool. So you've made it this far, and you still want to move to Bluffdale, Utah? Well, you got to give me a call. Send me a text, shoot me an email, and let's get talking about moving you here to Bluffdale, Utah. And until next time, be rad.